Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking and welcome back to my channel if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to turn this wig into the beautiful blonde afro wig that you've seen on my intro. If you find this video helpful guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Also, I want you to comment down below if you love this color or the after color. So these are the products that I'm going to use. I'll put all the details for the products that I'm going to use today in the description box down below just in case you're interested. So I wanted this blonde color that is in front of this wig because I just really loved it. So I'm going to use my hands to apply this product this bleach because i've worked with them before and i know it's not going to irritate my hands so guys if you're using any dye or any bleach just make sure you wear gloves i didn't wear gloves because i didn't have gloves but i've worked with these and uh, two products and i know like it won't irritate my hands so i'm going to apply it on this hair and just comb as i apply to make sure like the bleach gets into the roots as well You hurt me, you did several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Still, I'm better with and without you. Oh. So another thing that you're supposed to note when you're applying the dye or the bleach on your hair, make sure you do it faster because you don't want some parts to be lighter than other parts. And then right now, guys, as you can see, I'm just touching the bleach with my hands. It's not irritating at all, but I applied faster so that, you know, it doesn't irritate my hands. And then I also wanted the... They had to be uniform, like the color to be uniform. So I left it in this bag for like two hours, exactly two hours, and then I washed it. So this is two hours later, and as you can see, it has already turned, and I really love the color. We run and go still every time. Whatever it is, I keep on trying. Is it ain't hard to forgive when you know what it's like? That's why I'm better with and without you You don't really have to use a dryer i just use it because i had it but you can sun dry it or you can just leave it overnight to dry on its own we run and go still every time whatever it is i keep on trying is it ain't hard to forget so this is the before this is how it looked before and this is the after so guys, just comment down below if you love the before or the after color. So with this cap, I don't always use combs or an elastic band. I just use the adjustable strap that is already in the cap and it fits so well and it's very secure. Personally, I love this color and also I love how full it is compared to how it was before. So just comment down below guys if you love this color, if you love the, the volume. So guys, I feel like this hair looks good in person and on the mirror than the way it looks on the camera. So just comment down below guys if you love this hair like this because I want to apply gel to activate the curls.
so that was it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you loved this video make sure you give it a thumbs up comment and don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video bye